as I close this section, let me share this one thing with you, this one idea. You know, as I've treated my diabetes, what I've learned is that I need to embrace a new lifestyle, a new way of living. I can't just go on a crash diet where I'll end up running to Krispy Kreme again. In the same way, the church needs to change the way it does things. We can't just start another program, a program of evangelism and outreach. We can't just have an evangelism strategy. What we really need to have is a blessing strategy. We need to live into God's words to Abram in Genesis 12, where God says, I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you, and you will be a blessing, and all nations will be blessed by you. Now, we don't need another evangelism strategy. What we need is a blessing strategy. I love the story that Reggie McNeil tells. He was at a conference, and at the end of the conference, he wanted to give them something practical to do. So he told them, I want you to go out, and each one of you, I want you to bless three people. One of the gentlemen that was there wrote him and said, Reggie, I put this into practice. I went to my local coffee shop that I always go to, and I went up to the counter, and I talked to the barista, and I said, how can I bless you today? How can I pray for you? She took the coffee mug and pulled it back and said, are you one of those blessing people? Wouldn't that be fantastic? If all around town, people knew us, people knew you as one of those blessing people.